South Carolina lineup, which has been set from the very outset for this season, 1981-82. Tremendous front line, worthy Perkins and Jordan. And NC State, the taller of the two teams, with 7-5, Chuck Nevin in the middle, and 6-11, Carl Bailey at the floor. But it was the backcourt of Wittenberg and Lowe that may carry the hopes of the Wolfpack. There's the series. This is the 153rd game. North Carolina's won 94 of the 152. Tar Heels control the tap. NC State opening up in a man-for-man -man defense. Two point guards paired off. Low against Jimmy Black. Ordinarily, the state fans will pick out one player and cheer. There it goes, Jordan. Michael Jordan, the freshman. Opens the score for North Carolina. Two nothing in favor of the Wolf. But the Tar Heels, winner of this game, will take on this beautiful possession of first place. And the ACC. And now State's a half game ahead of the both run beat. Wittenberg is half a hot hand shooting first pick. Rebound, Sam Perkins, a beautiful block out of Bailey. Two nothing in favor of the Tar Heels in the first 40 seconds. Perkins, sometimes he'll take that one. And uh, James Worthy. Now try to play prevent defense against uh, James Worthy. We saw Bailey over guarding. Two to nothing in favor of the Tar Heels. We played 47 seconds. These teams have great followings, both with great pride of their teams, outstanding teams. Of course, no love lost because of the great rivalry. Rebound is put up by Perkins on the hook, and up by Worthy. Oh, no, that's Jordan. Michael Jordan scores the second basket of the game, and North Carolina has the first four points. These fans are really real. Four nothing in favor of North Carolina. Ah, Hills man from their defense. Bailey tried to pull Perkins outside. Stays really looking for a good shot here. And Sidney Lowe, one of the runners, off the mark. Rebound will come back to Wittenberg. And stay holds on. Tim, I'm anxious to see if they go to Nevitt down in low because Worthy's not going to play him beyond 12 feet. He's set up down in here but not getting the ball. And Nevitt's going to have to get in the offense and handle the ball down low some to keep James Worthy and Perkins honest because they'll block anything that comes inside otherwise. So far tonight, State has not chosen for the cheer for player underneath and finish for Worthy out of bounds, and it'll be State's ball. Perkins had the shot, but he's spotted Worthy underneath. Very unusual for a team to have two guys like Worthy and Perkins that can go in the middle of the 2-3 zone with a guy like Nevitt posted right in there and be able to operate offensively. Normally, he just intimidates people that come in that area. North Carolina's won the last three games between these two. Seven of the last eight. It goes low. Wittenberg. Derek Wittenberg. Tries the raise of deep in the corner and stays over the ice at four to two. And there you see back in the two three zone. Now watch Perkins go right in front of Nevin when he comes across the lane. And he will not be intimidated. He will be work. Jordan thus far has done all the scoring outside. Jimmy Black. That goes toward the Michael Jordan, 6'5", and among the Giants. Jim, there are a lot of good freshmen in the United States, but nobody any better than Michael Jordan. 6'2", that include Pat Ewing? That's including Pat Ewing. For his position, he is playing as well as any freshman in the United States. Four, it's going to get better. 4 to in favor of the tie. Here comes Nevin now. Up over Worthy. Rebound. Jordan. Now by Jordan. That'll be the first person of the ball game against either team. North Carolina leads 6-2. Michael Jordan will have to learn to respect. There's Nevitt with that shot that Worthy's going to let him have early in the game. Michael Jordan's going to have to respect Wittenberg and the fact he can go up on the boards with any guard around. You have to block him out. Two great leapers. Wittenberg, who stands only 6-1. Another steal. And here comes Jordan coming in on Wittenberg. Changing hands. That was a tough shot just to glide in there. I thought he was going to go go for the stuff and challenge Wittenberg up above.
above the basket. Six two. State fans cheer. Only Gordy. They Let's picked out Clark uh, Bynum. No, they picked out Shaffer a week ago. Yep. North Carolina, good patience against the zone. Where the underneath will clear it back to black. Gordy is open. Chance to tie the score. No check by Jimmy Black. What a two great point guard. Rittenberg to tie. That was a great defensive play by Jimmy Black to handle Sidney Lowe in the open court area. But Rittenberg is showing range in that jumper. He showed it last year but didn't have the consistency on it. But he'll put it up from 25 feet. Now State is pulled even for the first time since North Carolina jumped ahead. Second six here with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Well, over 14. Stayed in the zone, and here goes Jordan feeding inside, under to Worthy, missed the layup and drew the foul on Parsons. Well, that was great work inside of the zone, and that'll show you what you can do, even though you're not playing man for man, you can work those plays. Now we've got timeout with 14 8 to go in the first half. James Worthy on the line. This is about the only part of James's game that hasn't been outstanding this year from the foul line, and surprisingly, Carolina this year, although they're shooting fairly well from the foul line, their opponents are shooting very poorly from the foul line, and State is a great ball shooting team, so we'll see if that balances out tonight. All right, Michael Jordan with a strong rebound. Seven to six. We'll try Jordan on the weak side of the zone. Set it at two three. Perkins, Worthy, and Jordan. And Doherty can go down to the front. They're going to attack down the middle in front of Nevitt. They had that little triangle. Very patient, uh, methodical team that ties North Carolina. Uh, and he's out of bounds. Well, got some spectacular pass. And he not up on the end line. Scott Parsons really come into his own this year in his senior season. You know, a lot of people who don't see Carolina often think that they're... Uh, they say, gee, they don't look like they're working hard out there, but they're very methodical club. Worthy missed play, alley-oop. Rebound grab by Gordy. Perkins. Oh, they'll work for the good shot. There it is. Worthy faking in midair on the puck. Good job by Wittenberg and Lowe pinching on it. Zone is really sealed off the inside for the moment against North Carolina. That's their strength. Jim, everybody's inside 12 feet. There's a ball from on the floor by Worthy and turned over. North Carolina State could take the lead here with the basket for the first time of the game. Saturday 6, North Carolina. State has not left. Oh, it's over by Worthy. Here goes Worthy driving with Bailey, and he's going to hold it up. Under Worthy, Perkins, great team by the shot by Perkins is correct. His first basket had a great feed by Black. An excellent play by North, by North Carolina on the break, but how about the way he used the rim to block off Nevin? See how this can help but be an outstanding game all the way, Bill. Well, as long as they can stay up ahead or close so that they can stay back in that zone, they're going to be all right. But if they have to spread out, then Nevitt becomes certainly much 
less effective. Here's one of his vulnerabilities. That's fouling. He's had, a, of course, a big problem last year. He's improved considerably uh, this year. Nevin has committed 45 postal fouls. Far and away, the high of the state team. 40 on the line for two. Now the fans think they're getting to Doherty. He's an 84 percent shooter at the free throw line. Now it might be an idea to stop that one time is to go ahead and have the player they're cheering for a dribble for about five minutes. <laughs> 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 Just wear all the crowd out. <laughs> wear out their lungs, huh? That's it. 11 minutes and 54 seconds to go. There's time out here, and North Carolina leads 10 to 8. We'll be back with more ACC basketball after these messages from your local state. At the conclusion of tonight's game, McDonald's will present a plaque to the outstanding player from each team, selected by the announcers. In addition, McDonald's is pleased to make a contribution of $1,500 to the member institutions under the approved plan of the Atlantic Coast Conference. The uh, score, North Carolina State lost only one game. That was kind of a mild upset to Rice out in the in Honolulu. 2-2-1 two, two, full court pressure there and rather passive and going right over the top, but Nevitt's a pretty good outlet man, isn't he? Yep. 2-1-2 two, two zone. Packed back in. They're respecting Nevitt and Bailey. Here's the guy who may break the so Wittenberg and Parsons, they both Parsons. can shoot it. It's a very difficult team to go ahead and zone because Sidney Lowe is an excellent man at getting the ball to the right people and with Parsons and Wittenberg on the wings, they've got excellent perimeter shooting. Scores tied at 10. Fans can watch State go back, Jim, and they start out about 15 feet in that zone, then they back back in even farther, so they don't want to have a hard time doing things right down inside. There it is again. Parsons held up the handle. I could have been on that, but again, up. That is on Parsons. First one on Parsons. Second team foul. I guess we'll walk back and roll these back on the line. They only that. He's got a bad percentage for the play of his caliber. He might expect a higher mark. And Carolina has a team only shooting 66%. And when I looked at this tonight, I looked down there, Jim, and they're holding their opponents to 58% from the foul line. That's, you know, a lot of play defense in the foul line. They're almost sitting up well up from the floor. Down the rebound by Chuck Dillon. 11 to 10. The second time that State's come down the floor with a ball trailing by a point, but they get to lead. You see, the Carolina showed in that 2-1-2 zone just for one time down the court. Now the Turnover and the switching defenses usually take their toll when you take up North Carolina. They're one of the most adept teams every year at playing a variety of decent defenses. 11 to 10. One point lead of the Tar Heels. Still a 2-3 zone set up by State. Jimmy Black from outside the zone. Dean Smith would like him to shoot more. He's an excellent shooter, and he doesn't look for the shot. Going for the pass first, and uh, not bad for a point, man. But Jimmy Black in a night like tonight will have to put up some shots. How about these two? That's the trap defense. Not the straight man to man. They've shown so far. The play by Perkins. North Carolina's doing a pretty good job denying that at the ball. Yeah, if they have to make a long pass into Nevitt like that one right there, then Perkins and Worthy have an opportunity to use their quickness. If Nevitt will hold his ground down in there real tight, then they can throw over Jimmy Braddock will come in now to replace Jimmy Black. Jim Braddock's a junior from Chattanooga, Tennessee. He's played in 11 games, scored 24 points, has 17 assists as a back appointment. Jim, they left uh, Jimmy Black in there. I guess they just wanted to go ahead and go for some... Uh, the rest for the young freshman. Nice break. Never bad. And a lot of bounce. This will hit Perkins right in the mix. Sam was giving me some heat before. He said, your friend Al McGuire really got on my case. He said, who does he think can handle Samson one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, well, gentlemen, number one, in the eyes of the opposing coach tonight, pointing out as Billy Packer has many times, the toughness of his schedule. There's a trap by State. They've got Doherty in real trouble. And he's tied up for the NC State ball. North Carolina control the opening tap. That's no place to be in a trapping zone. I think it really surprised Matt Doherty, who's a very intelligent player, because when State went to the trap, got out of that 2-3, the basic 2-3, he got caught in no man's land. Uh, we're midway now in the first half, a little over. Nine minutes, 40 
six seconds to go. Beads Smith only three victories away from 450. That's a remarkable record in 21 years. Now they're on Dean's face. He'll sit down Dean, and he'll take his time about that. I guarantee he won't be dictated by this guy. 13 to 10. Well, he finally sat down. got a nice <laughs> three-point lead. Back to one, 13 12. North Carolina stood up as much as four. Three times, the least come back to one, but they've yet to surrender the lead. Only the two ties never giving it up to state. Arresting Michael Jordan, weak side, black. Got two vicious rebounds. That's the first foul on McLean, 6'11 freshman, who's now in uh, giving Navin a breather. He has supported Navin well, certainly well enough. That's what Valvano went to accomplish. And Jim Valvano has an excellent group of freshman players this year. They're all not getting a lot of playing time, but they can go. Here's Michael Jordan back in there to score. Eight points in the first half of Michael Jordan. 15 to 12, North Carolina up again by three. Well, you look at Junior Worthy, sophomore Perkins, and freshman Jordan, and maybe the three best players in their respective classes in the nation. You know what? Well, certainly Worthy's class is a great one. There goes Rick Perkins over the two points. Back and pass to Black. Worthy's down there quickly. Now Black hitting the road. Oh, Doesn't happen often, but Doherty missed Black that time because had he hit him in the corner, Worthy was coming right down the lane for the dish back. Great point lead by North Carolina, 15 to 12. Between them, these two teams have won 23 and lost only one. Wittenberg in trap. Six points for Wittenberg. A lot, a lot of people watching this game, Jim, must wonder, why does Carolina give the baseline to a man like that? That's the way they play their defense to force them into Perkins and Worthy. But when you've got a guy with Wittenberg's talent, he can take it baseline and go up with a jump. Carolina's turn to take it out of bounds. Brazil McQueen, the bottom of the stack again. He's been on the floor about as much as he's been up right. One point lead by North Carolina with seven minutes and 22 seconds to go here in the first half, and with the score. The Tar Heels 15, the Wolfpack 14, let's pause for the... So State, uh, consequently, has not led North Carolina's biggest team with only four points, so it's been close to the outside. There's another uh, freshman in the ballgame now for State, Dinky Proctor in that back line, so Bailey and McQueen and Proctor. There goes Jimmy Black. was the intelligence you're talking about, Doherty, just able to tip that ball out and control it. There goes Michael Jordan. Worthy challenges people when he gets inside with that dribble of his, and he gets it stolen quite a bit, but it's amazing how he'll put it down right in the face. It's a lot of points off it, too. Yep. He ever gets in there a little short right hand hook shot. He's really strong. One point here by North Michael Jordan doesn't hesitate. Ten points for the freshman. Back here in eastern North Carolina. His home is Wilmington. Only a freshman, 17-14. Obviously, with the loss of Al Wood, they needed a fellow like Jordan to come in and give some offensive one-on-one -on -one spark, and uh, he certainly has done that. Abbott and Parsons are coming back in the starting line now. Dickie Proctor will sit down, so will McQueen. Dean Smith stands up to check the situation. Three-point lead by, North, by his team, the North Carolina Tar Heels. Have not been beaten this year. And here against the arch rivals, they've won 11 of the last 13. There goes a 2-1-2 and a trapping zone defense. Bretton Burke finds the off and stop. Rebound by Bailey on the inside. Take it back out. A 2-1-2 zone. Thank 
Anderson. And he's looking to take that shot more tonight than normal. Green once more goes back to one point. It's about the fourth or fifth time the margin has been down to one. Perkins in traffic with a short hook. Sam Perkins four point. That's the spot to go ahead and get with Nevitt is with Perkins and Worthy. They can take him right down the center and make him play somebody. And as I said before, normally he just intimidates by his presence in the middle. Perkins only 6'9", but he has tremendous to all guards. the backboard when you slap the backboard this year to gain an advantage whether you be an offensive or a defensive player it's a technical foul. Well it'll be two shots to Wittenberg who's the Atlantic Coast Conference leading free thrower 86.8 percent. Number two in the league by the way is his teammate Thurl Bailey over 83 and a half percent. And obviously the advantage of a shaken backboard there would have been that it might have created the ball to be knocked aside. Wittenberg, by the way, has gone over 200 points tonight. He's now 201 on the season with his six points. And he's ahead of Bailey now for the team scoring lead. It's surprising to me, Wittenberg has taken fewer shots this year than Scott Parsons on that ball club. You just wouldn't believe it. Uh, he is some shooter. Wittenberg, of course, had a tremendous game against Maryland. You'll remember 26 points. 1917, two point lead, North Carolina. Michael Jordan lost the When Jordan goes up for his jumper, you have to be way in the air to pull it down from behind him. Press press is around the North Carolina lineup, replacing James Worthy. Reginald Five is in the upper state. Only press did not start the game with these players. There goes Parsons again. That was up at Capitol Center. Tar Heels with a two-point lead, 19-17 here, with three minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Jim Valvano really wanted that last possession to get off a decent shot because he'd love to get the ball back with the lead. I think he'd pull Carolina out a little bit and make him really chase. Jimmy Braddock, who's an excellent shooter from backcourt, Traveling by Doherty, shut off on the baseline. Here's another chance for North Carolina State to pull even. I think Matt Doherty was looking for a guy to come right down through the pike there, Jim, and when nobody came, he got caught up in the air. Indeed, if you don't throw it away, uh, hoping it 
course, you get away with something. 1917. Two-point lead. And from that defense by the Tar Heels. Putting up too much pace to the outside. Getting low of the shot. Got Wittenberg down low on Black. They'd love to get in down there with a jumping ability. Jimmy Black defensing the thing. Maybe that might be a mismatch. It's a full movement passing game right here. And this is what Jim Galvan probably would love to have a lead and go into this offense. Parsons put the ball down. I'm sure they wouldn't have been close to a call there. 75% shooter is Braddock. That's the second best mark among the regular players. Runs a play uh, usually every game for North Carolina. So Braddock is here for the one and one. Up two shots. Gets the, he was in the act of shooting. Well, the better one went anyway, only the fourth team foul. Now, what uh, you're going to see is uh, to prevent that long pass, either Worthy or, or Brush going to go down there and really give some trouble to that guy trying to get the ball in bounds. We had that situation last night in the Virginia game, which was one of the fun games, uh, Jim, that we've been involved with in quite some time. Braddock a 
Brooks and both Brust. See Brust there. Yeah, well, no, long pass. no that time to make two passes with one second. So time runs out, and North Carolina has equaled its biggest lead of the ball game. Four points, so we've got a good one going here, and it's only half over. That's the end of the first half of the score. North Carolina, 23. North Carolina State, 19. Uh, we'll be back with our recap of the first half after these messages. career and Jim Valvano is off to a great start here at NC State even though it's his 11th year as a head coach only a second of the ACC North Carolina will start play here in the second half leading by four 23-19 remember they started the game man to man they start the second half man to man I bet you they don't stay in the game there goes Gordy firing up to the inside tipped up and in by Perkins and didn't that happen to start the ball game too they got a two points against the man to man right away and that's going to be the key for State. They've got to stay close in this game so that they don't have to go man-to-man. -man. That's a six-point lead. Biggest of the ball game for North Carolina. 30 minutes into the second half. Our heels man-for-man. Devin up over Perkins in the baseline. We got out to Jimmy Black. The break is on. Black in the center. They score. Oh, to Perkins. They score. It. He's a bit. Got to stop this right away and get a time. And Tenney was called, but Perkins didn't need it. He had the ball in the hoop anyway, so quickly he goes to eight points. Ten points for Jordan, who's the top scorer of the game. Worthy and Bailey without a field goal. Three to one so far. Backdoor cut. This is extremely two. critical play right here for State. They have uh, to get one. Worthy with a rebound. Hobbs the side. Back to Dubs. Here goes Michael Jordan. North Carolina open to cover a stormy first minute of the second half to go ahead. 10, 29, 19. There's the timeout. <laughs> Jim Valdano had to get it. He didn't want to use it that last time, but he... Uh, so well, North Carolina's been the only two of the team to lead. Look at that field goal percentage. 75% hitting three out of four. And State has yet to connect. Got a hurry on the five second. You see, Carolina comes out, picks up full court man to man because they know that Jim Valdano wants to set up for a good shot. Now, here's the trap coming all over the court. Had a back door there. Bailey instead baseline. He's still looking for his first basket. Rebound taken away by Black, and he can't hold. Good hustle well, by everybody. Looked like a Pepper Martin slide the way he was going into a press roll. This is such a critical uh, possession for NC State. They have got the score so they can stay in the zone. Down by 10, 29-19, North Carolina bidding to stay number one in the nation this year. Lobbed to Nevitt. Did not jam it. He was fouled on the play by Perkins. Good foul by Perkins. You see Sam Perkins put his finger up on his head. He knows that he made a foolish mistake. He knew where Nevitt was. And he, and he should have been back in there. And Sam would have put his finger up to his head and say, think a little bit out there. Why wouldn't Chuck jam it on the lob? Well, he should have. He tried to regroup himself. And uh, maybe Jimmy really doesn't have the, the coordination necessary when you get that eye up in the air to come, you know, to go straight on down like some of these other players do. And he tried to regather himself. And, of course, that gave Sam, uh, Perkins just enough time to get over there. Still a young man. It's his birthday today, though. 23 years old. On this day, January 13th. That's the first point for NC State of the second half. It's 29-20 North Carolina. They were up by 10. Now it's 9 with 18-20 to go in the game. Black started the second half with Doherty, Michael Jordan, James Worthy, and uh, Sam Perkins. Same with us, same uh, lineup. Bailey Parsons, Nevin, Litton, Mark, and Lowe. Here goes Perkins. Perkins or Worthy, whatever guy gets matched up with Nevitt, to be the one that tries to take him to the cover. And across two the evening so far, but for both Worthy and Bailey. Bailey, the leading scorer for State, is yet to register. 29-20, North Carolina. Now there's the trap. The switch rather by Perkins. Shows you what kind of athlete he is. He makes a switch and goes out there on Sidney Lowe. Cars is 25 feet away. Rebound. Down by Worthy. Another foul on Nevitt. Second one. First team foul we'll have against the pack. If State goes man to man all the way, we'll probably see a change to maybe a little bit smaller team out there because Nevitt's effectiveness defensively is not what it would be, obviously, in the zone. Let's see. It's going to be straight man to man. It's Nevitt on Perkins. 29 20. North Carolina win this game. They'll have a big jump. And the victory's over there. Two. Turns it over to NC 
as he stated now. Now is forming his team right now. That's what they're going to the score time. They have gone. Two and a half minutes, two minutes and 40 seconds without a field goal. Look inside, but uh, Perkins is really over guarding here. Overplay for the deny. Those long arms. It's, there it goes on the bottom inside Bailey. And Bailey's foul on the play by Worthy who tried to switch. That was good ball handling by State to get Perkins on the wrong side. And Sam Perkins knew he was out of position immediately. See, he realizes he's out of position, but he can't get over there. Worthy tries to help out. Good job by Bailey putting it up. Well, almost went, but it would put uh, Bailey on the line a chance to score. He's the second best free throw in the ACC, percentage-wise, 83.6. Normally, Perkins has to make a decision there whether to go down over the top of Bailey or to try to go around behind him. He just got caught no man's land. And good passing by State. Trying to break the ice. That'll do it. First point for Thurl Bailey. And what has been a frustrating uh, one half plus of this game. 29 21. Eight point lead of the Tar Heels with 6 14, 6 40 to go in the game. It's no man for man. And probably prefer to be in a zone against the quick North Carolina team. That's one of the quickest. Uh, Jordan dumps on the inside. Man to man is doing a pretty good job so far. Here it comes to Wittenberg off the break. The first field goal of the second half for NC State for fourth point, 29-23. State fighting back a little bit. They score the last four points. And Perkins standing outside, going to make Nevin come out and play him a little bit. North Carolina worked this motion attack a little bit. to break up the rebound. Jim, I think teams are going to go ahead and start sending the man that Michael Jordan's playing long because he goes to the board so much. Might be able to pick up a cheap basket. Almost sucked the line. There he goes, Jordan, from the outside. Michael Jordan having a great night here. His first visit to Reynolds Coliseum. Look at the size of his hands. He spits them out. He has huge hands. Duke playing like a good spirit again tonight. They're tied 28 28 in their game tonight. Lake, of course, after a great start, has an offensive foul on Sidney Lowe. Charged with a trap. Ball control foul. His first, second team foul against the Wolfpack. Balvano's calling in Harold Thompson. The entire recruiting class last year, the only freshman he brought in. 6'5", now sophomore from Rayford, North Carolina. Boy, he's a husky guy. Look at those shorts. Rayford, North Carolina, produced a fine player a few years back from Lake Forest, Gilbert McGregor. Oh, Gilbert, yeah. He was a strong one, too. Yes, he was, was an excellent rebounder. Rosal McQueen in there now. He's going to be up against him. And here's a five side steal by Sidney Lowe, but he's out of bounds. That's fortunate to be a The fans didn't see that, but that was some kind of play by Worthy. He went up in the air just off the Perkins, who made a scoop shot underneath. Just kind of flew in the rest of the thing of beauty to watch. Flipped it from his tie. Yeah. Eight point lead for North Carolina. There's Al McQueen playing real tough. That's a lot for Worthy. Worthy gets his first field goal. He had the position to get field. Four points for Worthy. 33 23. North Carolina's come back to equal its longest lead. Real fine man-to-man -man defense being played by North Carolina. This entire ball game. Really having given State too many easy shots. There goes Whitmore up. Challenged by Worthy. Who fouls? Three fouls on James Worthy. All here in the second half. And the last one, six minutes, 72. So he gets in foul trouble. You notice James Worthy threw that ball very 
gently underhand. There's no more of those two-handed chest passes to referees. Uh, to run technical is a big enough lesson for James, who's a very gentle soul, really, from Gastonia, North Carolina. The beard, by the way, comes from a skin disorder. His doctors ordered him not to shave. But he really doesn't use it for adornment. Wittenberg, who has come out smoking this year, is averaging 15 points a game for the Wolfpack. Saw another DeMatha product last night show that he's going to be quite a player in this league, too. Adrian Branch had a real fine first half. Well, he was a sophomore when these guys were seniors at DeMatha, and he did play with them, although he didn't start. Worthy, Worthy was in there a little early, and fortunately uh, for him, the shot was made anyway. Good defense. Yeah, but as were these great bulk and size, getting the pass 33 24. that ball and had he not stepped in the baseline would have had a very alert play against the clever low. He has a tendency Jim to stay around at the offensive boards all the time now he's been able to get away with it because his players are, are covering for him plus he has great ability when he gets around those boards but people will start breaking him every once in a while. 33-24 got a tough look at his shot it's guy in Wittenberg. He's playing, to go. Yeah, excuse me. he's playing him. He's staying right with him. There goes Wittenberg in a crowd, and he draws the foul. That'll be on Jordan. That'll be Jordan's third. Here we see him. He's moving his feet well. He goes straight up in the air, but Wittenberg was smart when he went in between the two guys. He moved the ball around and got his arm hit. I'm sure when Derek Wittenberg was growing up and learning how to play the game, he went up against a lot of guys in the D.C. area of much superior size. So he learned how to shift that ball around in the air. And, of course, he can go to the hoop with anyone. Well, that's a great uh, area for producing outstanding basketball. Uh, the map is just one example. <laughs> Morgan Roots had his share, but there's a lot of other great ones up there. Matter of fact, uh, Phil Bailey from that area from Seat Pleasant and went back in the summer and played the summer league with Ralph Sampson and Pat Ewing and a lot of others that's helped him improve. A lot of great high school coaching in the Washington, D.C. area. Joe Gallagher. Of course, John Thompson was a high school coach and he's not doing bad in the collegiate level since he stepped in there. Uh, George Sandler just absolutely phenomenal against St. John's. 33-26. Davis cut it back to seven after being down by ten. Here's a foul off the ball, I think, on Sidney Lowe. And uh, that's going to be a second, both in the second half. Now there are three team fouls on NC State, five on North Carolina. Staying man to man, there's the lob. Oh, what a catch! Worthy. Almost made that one. Would have been unbelievable. Lob behind him. Worthy ran underneath the pass and almost got it back over his head. Just catching that ball was a, was a great play. Basket here by State will cut it back to five, and the Wolfpack would have trimmed the margin in half. They only have one basket in this second half. The rest have come from that free throw line. That was for this guy, Gary Quittenberg. Good Sit switch. Below, out of 22 footer, right down to Michael Jordan. He was the leading rebounder in the first half for Carolina, and he's had a couple here already in the second half. Here's the leading score of 14 points. Leading score of the ball game. 14 points for Wittenberg and Michael Jordan. the score. State again to cut it to five, and Wittenberg is driving. Left alive by Roselle McQueen. He took a bad shot here. He yep. did. Great hustle by the state team. Roselle McQueen just being a freshman. Didn't relax enough, but he was uh, helped out by Bailey coming in there for the follow-up. First field goal for Carol Bailey at his third point. 33-28. State now has cut a big North Carolina lead in half with 12 minutes and 14 seconds to go. Really a patient club out here. A roll of foul down. Here goes Jordan, a little soft. He was too open. And he fouled on the foul. Four fouls on Michael Jordan. And he may have to come out of the ball game here with a lot of time remaining. Jordan was probably a little bit too wide open. 
turned on that move. He didn't expect to not have a defensive man to stay. He'll probably sit down with just under 12 minutes. Yep. Just under 12 minutes to go in the game, and he'll be replaced the lineup. Out is uh, Jim Braddock. So Dean Smith going with his experience here, giving up a lot of uh, scoring punch, perhaps, certainly size. Look also possibly, Jim, for uh, Dean Smith to spread the game out a little bit and use some of that clock because Worthy also has uh, a little bit of foul trouble out there. That's three. 33, 28. Now they're coming out to trap a little bit. Then drop right back in the zone. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Carolina can hold them here and get the ball back if they don't spread out a little bit. Use up some of the clock. Well, one three one zone. Well, they're just packing back in there. They're staying in the man yep. to man, but State wasn't moving, so they just looked like they were standing still. Followed by Wittenberg. 16 points for Wittenberg, and he becomes the game's top scorer. 33-30. Spirited comeback here against North Carolina. They were down by 10 points. And they took Nevin out. They're playing much better man to man defense now because close on the queen can march. There's Gordy baseline. And now pulled out by Bailey. Bailey and close on the queen can really handle themselves defensively, and they're doing an excellent job on Worthy and Perkins so far. State would score here would be a one point game with over 10 minutes to go. 340 North Carolina, 10 minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Back door goes up. Uh, Look, tipped in by Thompson. Oh, Thompson from the weak side. Taps in by the 33 32. That was the only thing Sidney Rowe could do because if he had caught it and put it down one dribble, the shot would have been blocked. So he just took it in the air and threw it up towards the basket. A great play. Turns out to be as good as an assist. Now Perkins, baseline, left hand. Now Perkins has it. On the floor. That's the way to Gordy. Don't be surprised to see Carolina call a timeout. The things are a little ragged for them right now. They're going one-on-one -on -one with the ball. A big possession here for the Tar Heels. And here comes Worthy with a right hand. Offensive. Let's see. Let's go foul. Is on. Well, close out the Queen. Take a run on him. Jimmy Valvano calling for an offensive foul with a hook. And if we see that over again, James Worthy score tonight is four fouls in City. All fouls they've been cut to one. They're in the zone in the out of bounds, but Jim Valvano has to be really pleased the way his team is playing man to man. I know he was worried about getting the man and having to go to man. Well, the outside and he's hooked and fouled by Lowe. Sidney Lowe's third foul all in the second half. Two shots with over James Worthy. Moves toward the basket. Can't give him that much room, Jim. When he puts the ball down one time, he just goes to the basket from even as far away as the foul line. These same two teams will meet in Chapel Hill January 30th, and you can bet that'll be a big one too. Worthy the sea of our waving arms. Very nonchalantly, he ends his fifth point. 34 32. Look at the arm. Doesn't distract Worthy. 35 32. The tab will be the room. The zone trap now is being deployed by North Carolina. Sidney Lowe smart, not forcing it up into the teeth of that trap, just holds the ball so people can get loose. Still only nine minutes to go. Three point lead by North Carolina. You need a win to remain the nation's number one team. The victory here by State undoubtedly would shoot them in the top ten, provided they could get by Wake Forest. A tough week for State. So below, outside, we got Perkins. North Carolina went back into a very passive 2-1-2 zone that time. Sidney Lowe putting up a little bit more from the outside than we've seen him do before. 35-32. A lot more confidence shooting. He was shooting almost 58%. Perkins has a double team. Goes around on the play. So tough inside with that left hand. Jim Valvano is really hot. He is really hot. He better be careful. He can't use 
use a technical here. Here we see now that was a, not quite as big a hook as as what the James Worthy did. But when you put your hand around there to gain the offensive position, normally the official will give it to the defensive player. there is in college basketball. That's five straight points for North Carolina to go back up by six. And Michael Jordan will come back in. Four fouls on him and still a way half minutes to go. Scott Parzic returns, replacing Harold Thompson. There's Parzic back in. I still think we're going to see a little bit of a spread by North Carolina with Jordan coming back in the ballgame. Make State go after him a little bit. Whether they score or don't, six point lead to four point lead, it's a big difference. And of course, the zone defense helps Michael Jordan a little bit because he doesn't have to be on Wittenberg man to man, protects him a little bit in the foul situation. A lot of time left there. Eight, over eight minutes. Uh, six point lead to North Carolina. Low from the side. We see any kind of a delay tactic here. So far, this is number one, two, two. Looks like they're all looking for it. Both teams will be on the bonus the rest of the way. Yep, there you go. And it's spreading it. It's not the old four point. They just had a very high drive. And there goes Gordy. Gordy got on Parzic and beat him. First basket by Doherty, 40-32. You can anticipate that coming. State really throwing up some shots in a hurry now. Parzic and North Carolina is the team playing with a calm, cool precision here on the road against World North Carolina State. They, for the moment, have shut off the noise in Willis Palace. You see the same kind of offensive structure. A man in the middle now stepping out, looking for backdoor plays. This is not a freeze. This is an offensive spot. All right, Doherty had the edge. 40-32. Jim, just as was the case last night in Maryland going up and holding on to the ball, they were not holding the ball without looking to go to the basket. Remember they had Adrian Branch looking to go off that double screen on one side or the other. They don't want to do the same thing. It occupies the clock. It keeps a lot closer on the defense because you will go to the basket if you get the right chance. Jordan trying for the back door. Whitmore comes up. And defensively, it's so tough. There's the back line. Fouled on the play by Sidney Lowe. And North Carolina is a team now taking control here on the road. Jim, just as I was saying, it, you defensively are under such pressure because your man constantly can go back door, and yet you're trying to prevent him from getting the ball when he steps out. That was a costly little reach by Sidney Lowe. He picks up his fourth foul. Give Jimmy Black here a chance for three-point play. Six points for Black. Second three-point play for the Tar Heels here in the last few minutes. And now they've just gone to their biggest lead of the game, scoring seven straight points is now up by 11. So with a score, North Carolina 43, State 32. Let's pause for these messages. All under pressure here, Bill. They're showing tremendous precision. Look at the field goal percentage. Well, in this second half, of course, State's really had their problems. And uh, for the game, they're shooting 36%, North Carolina 47%. There's uh, Jimmy Black trying to take it away from Harold Thompson. It'll be out of bounds to the Wolf Pack. Six minutes and 12 seconds to go. It was almost a replay in reverse of what ended the first half. You're watching two of the fine premier point guards here tonight, Sidney Lowe and Jimmy Black. Sidney hadn't had a real good night shooting-wise, and that's hurt State because he's putting up the jumper. And they just haven't fallen for him. Well, he hit one. Wittenberg driving, and he's caught over the baseline. There goes Bailey off balance, and rebound is tipped outside to James Worthy, and then lost out. Touch last by Worthy, and it'll be NC State's ball. No, oh, I think James Worthy thinks that... Uh, yeah, I think Sidney uh, Wittenberg... Uh, yeah, that. I think... I Everybody think it, thinks it's going it, to be North Carolina's yeah, ball. North Carolina's yeah, ball. That's what I yeah, thought. sure. The season now, uh, Paul Howes was pointing the wrong way just for a moment, but he's it's pretty obvious the ball had uh, hit Wittenberg last. Standing down there before the game started, he just made a mistake, and I, and I think it's a very good idea on his part to correct it. Pointed the wrong way. 
Jim, before the game, I heard the officials saying that they feel like prize fighters. They said this crowd really had them up for the ball game. Well, you, you know, Dave still has to feel well about those team performance up to now based on that evaluation. Oh, remember that game over Carolina? They were flat on their backs. They really played them well there. Our state had a 20 point lead over there, didn't they? Something like that. And then North Carolina came from behind. 43 32. This is not the four quarters. It's another variation of the delay, but they are spreading their defense. Well, Gannon in the ball game now. Nevitt back in there. State trying to trap a little bit out of his zone, but Carolina just going to spread out here, and this won't work against them. Jim Valvano can't afford to let that clock uh, go off much more. Almost a walking violation. Uh, well, Jordan, you notice Jordan just kind of lazing around. Worthy was ready to lob it to Jordan then for the alley -oop. He had driven on Nevin, he had opened Jordan up. Too much clock uh, going down right here. State going to have to pull back into a zone and then go out and pick up a man. You can see the whole setup here, Bill, very well with our shot. It's very wide. You can see all 10 players. You can see how they're spreading them out. And he used up. There it is. There it is. Michael Jordan foul by Nevin. Well, that's the uh, best thing State can do in a foul from the middle of the land. Jordan. That was what they were trying to set up with Jordan right here. Yeah, well, here's Nevitt going out. He's got to make a play. Good dump inside. Look at Jordan. He's not intimidated at all by a 7-5 player. He figures he can cram it right down inside. Michael Jordan. They said that at Wilmington uh, when he was in high school. They said, Michael Jordan will slam bucket over Ralph Sampson. <laughs> I don't know whether he can do that or not. But he's an incredible 6-5 player. Two shots. And if a man has his hands on the ball when you're ready to dunk it and you take his hand out into that basket, he can knock it out of it. So it's the one time you can have your hand in the cylinder and not be called for goaltending. I saw that happen uh, a few years ago between Hayes and uh, Jabbar when they were both in college down in the Astrodome. You're going to break your arm. Well, we're outside by Wittenberg. North Carolina by 30. And they couldn't control the lead. This is North Carolina's biggest lead, 45-32. And 13 seconds to go, and Valvano's wolf pack now has got a monumental task. Inside Wittenberg scores over Worthy. What a play by Wittenberg. Carolina defense on that zone out of bounds. Oh, what a great sweep. move by Jimmy Black. This is all the And they certainly saved the best. Well, Bailey cut off the passing lane that time, and uh, Michael Jordan had a good shot down in his hands anyway. Bounce pass better work. Four minutes exactly left on the clock. Time out of the score. It is North Carolina 45, NC State 34. Let's hey, go like that team off, even though they have lost Alvis Rogers. They're too experienced. And they're a very deep team, maybe the deepest in the league, Bill. That front court to an awful lot of depth there. Nice back door by Black, and he lost the lineup. And it's knocked away. Now you're going to see Terry Gannon in the lineup here for NC State. He's only a freshman, but he's played a big role, just as Cozell McQueen has in his first year. Gannon has blacked up uh, low at the point guard, and he has been uh, outstage a great shooter. Here he is, defensive Jimmy Black. Number 24, a freshman for Joliet, Illinois. Now here's the four point. Texas, they're undefeated. Talking about quiet clubs around the nation, you know, don't even hear of them. They're undefeated. Beat uh, Houston at Houston the other night. And Tennessee. I know what they're doing over in the Southeastern. Uh, well, they've been trying to get uh, Joe Hall's had a tough time in Knoxville. Yeah, he's done well, so does everybody else. Alabama, they beat Alabama too, and uh, beating Kentucky and Alabama is no easy matter. Well, uh, John DeVos, my son. 30, 47 to 34. Here against the 13 point lead by North Carolina. Looking very strong here against the nation. Ooh, the dangerous pass. Uh, Jimmy Black, and he's got Jordan over there for the layup. Jordan having an outstanding night with 18 points. Cross court bounce pass. 
this uh, is a very, very dangerous pass to make. Gann will learn. He's got the jumper. There goes Gannon. Off balance. There's Worthy. Quick pass. That's the Perkins. And uh, there's Gannon to recover. That's his speed. A quick man. And, uh, Jordan, and he took it away. 49, 34, 15 point lead. Biggest of the game. Drive again. Whitberg. Dixie do. Got his hands on the rebound. And that was a uh, tip to say by Bailey, but he was standing on the baseline and right here. A frustrating night for Thurl, only three points. And now he's going to become, uh, he'll have to give up the team scoring lead to Derek Wittenberg, who's had a fine night so far with 18 points. And this Jim also with 18. 49 34. North Carolina. Andy Lee here is going to appear with two minutes and 45 seconds to go. They beat another team in the top 20, Jim, and this is quite a uh, early season move by North Carolina. They have just been absolutely outstanding. They've played well against all different types of competition, home, away, neutral floors, top 10 teams, big teams, teams that want to run. You can't take it away from them. They're having quite a season. That was a very impressive win over Kentucky in the early part. Jimmy Black for the one and one. I'm going to be seeing that Tulsa team uh, against Wichita State this weekend, and of course they did such a job beating Tulsa in Carmichael. And of course it came from behind to beat Virginia. Well, it looked like Virginia might be in position to win at, uh, North, at North Carolina. That's five straight free throws for Black. 51-34, now 17-point lead over State. North Carolina bidding here for its 12th straight victory, third in the world of the ACC. Gannon way outside. Rebound 40, and I think he fouled. He did. Jim Valvano was really worried that he had to keep the game close. And he did that throughout the first half. He played his zone, kept North Carolina right in there. And when things broke open and he had to go man to man, it gradually got away. 23 19 at the halftime score, four points. Now it's been widened to 17. With Sydney Law on the line for NC State. 82% free throw of the year. His big game was 16 against Campbell. He had 18 twice last year against Maryland and a third time against Duke. Jonas coming here for low. Both teams have free throwed well. North Carolina is 10 for 10 the free throw line in the second half. And State is 6 out of 9. 7 out of 10. 51-36. State now just a one-man press and there's Wittenberg fouling. And of course that'll that Duke, I'll never forget, was the one they passed in bounds, and Bobby Jones just grabbed it, put it in to win the game, and never broke stride. That's straight to the first of year. 53-36 for the second time, a 17-point lead. Derek Pettenberg looking for the quick shot here with time running out. Now goes out McQueen, is inside, tapped in by Lowe. Sidney Lowe is only 16 to 51. It's the part. 3 to 38 with exactly two minutes to go. Time running down on North Carolina, North Carolina State. 9.8 a game. That's the figure for North Carolina. Which in years past, Jim, is not an exceedingly... Always insisted. The only true uh, measure of a team was the, the scoring margin. I think scoring margin and then to know whether you're playing good defense is what your opponents are scoring from a standpoint of shooting percentage when they have the ball. I, I think the scoring margin of the game and then how well you're playing with your defense as far as all of the other teams, the shooting percentage is down. And of course, who you're playing. That's right. Perkins with 12 and 13. North Carolina remains perfect on the line in the second half, 14 to 14. 55-38, third time, they're led by 17. Gannon lets it rip again, he's 0 for 3. Well, that was Wittenberg knocking it out of where he's at. And Farrell Bailey, that's his fifth point all in the second half. He was shut out in the first 20 minutes. Now a minute 35 to go, 15-point lead by North Carolina. What another dangerous pass. Wittenberg really Wittenberg getting up can, in the air. He can really go up. There's a 3 on one Gordon will take it in, shuffle it over to the first of Jordan. Perkins with a steal. Perkins. Bailey just went to sleep, didn't realize Sam Perkins was still standing there. That was worthy, almost caught him napping again. 
Boy, this top shot on the team is so alert, Bill. You leave no doors open for them, do you? That's the foul lead reach again by Gannon. I see the call up. Potential foul. Yeah, down to the top. Seven to 40. North Carolina by 17. That equals the widest lead of the game. Jim, we were talking about, I was talking a second ago about what you do in regard to shooting percentages. North Carolina is shooting 54% as a team. He used to be a great, great shooting percentage for one individual guy to shoot over 50%. They're shooting 54% as a team. Their opponents are shooting 41%. So they have a 13% margin there in what they shoot percentage-wise and the opponents, and they have a 15% margin between what they score and what their opponents score. So they have been totally done at that end of the floor. Well, unless you just go off the end of the world and rebounds and turnovers, that, those two figures right there could bring you out on top. Right? Well, you better believe it. That was the first miss of the line after 14 straight hits the second half by North Carolina. A worthy miss of both, and rebound is grabbed inside for NC State by Vicky Proctor. Again, yeah, boy, almost drew it up. Well, there are two Got freshmen. Charge. They're going to see a lot of playing time. There's Parker Stone by Gannon. Here goes down to the edge, shifts it off to the inside to Charles. And Lorenzo Charles has his shot blocked, and he's fouled by Worthy. James Worthy said, I never touched anybody. Referee's going to say he hit him with the body. Now watch the play right here. Let's see if Worthy got him with the body. He got him with the body. He must have been his ankle because uh, I think there was plenty of margin in between the two players. 51. We'll be moving downstairs now. We'll have some interviews after the game, and we've got our minds made up on the players of the game, right? Okay, you've got them. <laughs> okay. Last night, though, you know, we weren't kidding about that. I really thought that, that Edlin deserved to be player of the game, even though he had the potential of fouling out and not scoring a point. He really played a sensational game, helping Virginia come back defensively. Well, we've given it to him until they got in the playoffs. That's right. right? 57 41, North Carolina. So long, Bill. We'll be right back to you on the floor to hear from Coach uh, Smith. We hope certainly some of the players. 57 to 41, 16 point lead. Another pressing back for North Carolina. That's Chris Bross now in the lineup. Cecil Exum's also in there. There he is, number 50. Sophomore. And Jimmy Braddock gets the open shot. 59 41. That's the biggest lead for North Carolina. 18 points, 20 seconds to go in the game. Followed by Mike Warren. Over the backboard. Mike Warren, just a freshman, hometown product here from Raleigh, North Carolina. Don't go away. We're going to have a visit with some of these Tar Heels. who are reigning now as the nation's number one college basketball team. Timo Makinen now in the lineup for North Carolina. And so is John Brownlee. So the bench is taken over. Here goes Linwood Robinson, another freshman. Baseline it goes to Cross Peterson. Peterson gets the scoring. 61-41, North Carolina just crushed NC State, the nation's 12th ranked team here on the time on the uh, Wolfpack's home court. Victory number 448 for Dean Smith, and one that was solidly carved out here by his number one ranked team that never trailed in this game and went on to win the contest 61-41 over NC State. And that'll chalk up the 12th straight victory of the game. By the way, our most valuable players of this ball game for University of North Carolina was freshman Michael Jordan from Wilmington, North Carolina, and for NC State, Derek Wittenberg, the junior guard from Washington, D.C. Well, that's the end of the game. We'll be back with a final wrap-up after these messages.